Before I get into the story, let me introduce myself. I am an average human being, like all of you guys and I do not script nor make anything, so don't ask me for that junk. But my dream, my dream is to become a famous Roblox player. A famous developer. But I don't even know how to script so that's not gonna happen. I sometimes don't conceive any conspiracies but they are pretty interesting to read about. But I love creepy stories like John Doe and Jane Doe, Annie and Jerry. Nowadays, I stay away from that cause I never know if it's a prank or some sort of joke. The reason for all that is in this story. If you were to go back in time to run a mistake you made in the past, what would it be? Where would you go? What would you do to change it? Will you make the same mistake twice? Honestly, I wish I could do that, after I made this big mistake, no no, I didn't murder anyone, nor did I commit a felony or cause a relationship to be destroyed, it might sound petty and not very important, but it has to do with something that relates to media. Let me explain. Rick was a very silly person. He joined in April 12, 2007. He would usually wear the big head but he isn't wearing it right now. Usually he would say, I wipe cheese, as a joke or, oof, as a joke. I wipe cheese was the one thing he would say all the time. Probably cause of the cheese on his head. So, I met him back in 2017. He has a lot of friends. He was a very kind person. Whenever I got bullied, he always got my back. He had a lot of friends and followers. He would always give people compliments, and whenever anything bad happens, he always had my back. But something strange with me and him happened. Note, this happened back in 2018. So it all began, when he said oh hi. Join me on Crossroads. I was already playing a game, so I refused and kept on playing by myself. After a little while, he texted, why didn't you join me? The shadows don't like that, frowning face. All of a sudden, he spams frowny faces followed with I wipe cheese for some strange reason. Then he said something strange again. He said, the shadows are coming for you. Then I said, what? Then he said, the shadows shall engulf you. I thought that this was some sick joke pulled by the user. Anyway, I then told him, okay you're freaking me out. Then Rick said, the shadows said they dislike you and wanna kill you. Then I said, dude what is going on? This is not you. Are you okay? Then he replied with nothing. A few minutes later, his avatar changed unexpectedly to plain black, he didn't have the cheese on his head, his status completely changed, and his username was changed to don't struggle. I was freaked out by this. I had many questions. What was he thinking? Is he getting hacked? What happened? Is he okay? So then he texted me 10 minutes later. He said, let us play a game. Then he went into his place. He then said, join for a surprise, smiley face. I joined, as a creeped face suddenly grew. My heart pounded. He was in the game. He simply said, oh hello there friend, smiley face. Then I said, hi. Hi. After, he said, hey buddy let's play a little game, smiley face. My heart was pounding faster as I slowly typed OK randomly. I got teleported to another game called, let's play, smiley face. I started off in a cabin. I just walked around a bit. Until I found the bathroom. I walked inside and saw a mirror. The mirror was dirty but worked perfectly. After looking at myself for a few seconds. Then the bathroom went dark. For a few moments I just stood there waiting. Until the lights went back on. After the lights went back on, the mirror changed. Instead of showing my profile, it showed my corpse. That's right, my corpse. A few seconds later everything was normal. I wasn't even scared. I just had a ton of freaking questions. I tried to exit but I couldn't. I even tried to unplug my computer but somehow it was still working. So I was forced to stay inside the game. After a while, Rick came in and said, Mike, that's my name. Remember, that time, when you died? I texted him, how do you know my name? He then said, even my eyes have eyes Mike, smiley face. Suddenly I got teleported to another game called Which was Morse code for, smiley face. So I started off in a black room. The black room was nothing but black. I just walked around doing nothing. A few moments later, Rick joined. 
He then says, you have stolen my heart, but that's okay. I have three more in the freezer, smiley face. I said, what do you want from me you creep? He then said, is it weird that I like the sound of screaming? After, I said, okay you're really freaking me out. Then he said, you're next. No one will ever believe you. Smiley face. Then my computer abruptly faded into black. It was just blackness. Then, my computer went back on, for a split second. For that split second, I saw Rick cutting my head off. My computer went black again. Then, my computer went back on, for another split second. This time, he is holding my head in his bloody hands, while saying, you have a beautiful head, it will complete my collection. Basically, my computer keeps on flickering. Then for another split second, he said, I always knew it will end like this. He keeps on saying stuff like, the skin will be the best part. Or, we are not alone. Or many more. I just watched in terror, as these messages just popped up. Suddenly, my computer crashed. I tried to turn it on but it didn't work. So I had to wait 5 hours for it to work. But something was different. My computer wallpaper was black and it had a picture of an SCP smile, and every single time I play Roblox, my avatar was completely black. When I try to change it, it says error. So I was forced to wear black and look like a creep. If I were to create a new account, then it would be black. Also, the front page changed. It was the 2007 front page. But I liked it cause I am a fan of old Roblox. But the bad part is that every single time I join a game, it sends me to Let's Play, smiley face, so I wasn't able to play Roblox for 3 months, until it started working again. I immediately unfriended Rick so this never happens again. Nowadays, I feel a lot better. I don't let this one incident affect my overall feelings of Roblox. But there is something in me, that makes me regret not joining Rick. It doesn't bother me as much nowadays, but, it's one thing I wish I could go back in time to fix.